my name is Paul Watts. I'm the Chief Information Security Officer for Network Rail. Today we've been talking about agile security teams for the future, um, following off the back of the ISE Square's Global Workforce Study, talking a little bit about the challenges uh, faced by security teams in the modern age and whether agility is something that we apply adequately enough to our industry, to our teams, are we getting the right blend of soft and hard skills and, and are we developing the capabilities within our organisations to adapt with what is very much an, an amorphous discipline and industry as well. I think it's fair to say that uh, uh, the security industry is facing a skills deficit. Uh, this is becoming more and more important to industry and business and there's been a number of high profile uh, incidents and events that have happened over recent months that have, have really brought this home to senior level executives within organisations and they're asking the question what more should we do? Well what more we should do is, a, is an interesting challenge because uh, there is a finite amount of resourcing in the United Kingdom and beyond and we have to look at how we do things differently within our organisations just as much as we talk about how we source additional talent from outside um, organisations as well. Diversity and inclusiveness is something that we really do need to get on top on, uh, on top of within the, uh, the security space. Uh, the, the imbalance needs to be adjusted and, and as Vicky Gavin said, there, there must be a, a reason behind that that we're just not peeking out. You know, our role specifications too rigid, too robust. And um, what more do we need to be doing to encourage uh, women into our uh, skills, into our industry? Um, that's point number one. Point number two is that security teams within organisations need to appreciate a trust and empowerment uh, that enables them to be able to work beyond the boundaries of a traditional day job. When you look at role specifications and uh, the very rigid that you'll do this and this and this and this, actually what they need to do is have a degree of breadth and feel that it's okay to move outside of those boundaries for the greater good. Um, I think they're the key messages that come out of the, uh, the session this morning. I think the key point would be to look beyond the bricks and mortar of a security professional. Look at the soft skills within people. What are you trying to bring to your security team? What are your core objectives and motivators? What's missing? And, and actually, you can find an individual with all the soft skills and a deficit in the hard skills, develop and train them in post. Um, we've done that to great effect at Network Rail. I know of numerous examples where that's happened elsewhere. And, and, and just be, move beyond the rigidity of a role specifications and work with your recruiters to, uh, to, to recognize that it's more than just having a degree and accreditation or this or that. Look beyond that. What is it you're trying to get from the person beyond the core skills and competencies? I think that security is now becoming front and centre within organisations and we're starting to get a considerable amount of boardroom airtime. Um, it's understanding how security can be turned from a blocking entity into a business enabler. Um, equally with things like GDPR and, uh, and, and some such, I think the business is starting to recognise, or businesses are starting to recognise, that security is much more than yes, no, up, down, left, right. And actually we can add considerable value and, and enable businesses to become more agile by our very own nature of being agile ourselves.